My name is uh, Michelle Andy Ursel. Uh, you can call me Misha. Uh, I'm 17. I'm from Malaysia. Uh, I'm a high school student and um, I'm also a MUN enthusiast. Um, so my topic will be about uh, learning through trial and error guarantees us a better future. Human enhancement is inevitable. We continue to progress regardless of the era we are in. And this can of course happen unintentionally without us knowing. Regardless, progression isn't something that we can, or in this case, should stop. But the question is how on earth do we ever get there in the first place? From being colonial towards the modern era of society, how did progression even became a thing in the first place? Um, so I've introduced myself and uh, I, I really want to talk about how learning through trial and error guarantees a better future for us, the millennials, the youth of the next generation, uh, and to everyone here in the present. Uh, as a person and a young mind who is interested in science, I've always found progression interesting, uh, whether if it's through science or history. Um, progression makes humanity better than they have ever been. And with advancement, it just guarantees the youth a better future fueled with technology and innovation. Uh, when it comes to reflection, it's obvious that we will need to make mistakes in order to do better. It's how we as humans learn uh, and to be better and to strive for better. It gives us hope to continue our research through thick and thin. Now hear this, the word transhumanism, quite a mouthful, isn't it? Well, this word is actually defined as the belief or theory that the human race can evolve beyond its current physical and mental limitations, especially by the means of science and technology. The fact that there is even a word to describe human advancement and progress already shows that how this is right. our nature. This progression that we hey. are constantly in, it's basic human nature to want to learn thoroughly for the sake of exceeding our own limits, to test how far we can really go. Now, allow me to ask everyone here a question. Have you ever been afraid to make a mistake? Now, I came from an Asian household. I'm Malaysian, and I guess there is a stereotype going around that Asian parents expect their child to be perfect and smart. I'm a 17-year-old high school student, and am I afraid of making mistakes? Of course, just like many people out here, I was even frantic about even talking on TEDx. Uh, and I kept praying so that I wouldn't slip during my uh, speech and so on. Uh, so yes, I am afraid of messing up. In fact, my nose would have looked like Pinocchio's if I ever told you that I was not afraid of messing up. Um, so if I ever told you that people make mistakes and I make mistakes, and I know you do too, how do I know that? It's plain obvious, we're all humans. Homo sapiens who have learned age by age, year by year. But the thing is, we're aware, right? That we're prone to be making mistakes. We're, we're aware, you know, like if you're going to a certain place, you're just mentally aware that, you know, if something goes wrong, then I have like a backup plan. But even then, why are we still afraid to make those mistakes? Why are we still afraid to do it? Is it due to like social embarrassment or maybe the fear of social exclusion? Of course, we wouldn't want to make a mistake during the, an exam, um, but even then, how can you assure yourself that you're gonna get a perfect score? I mean, even if you were to get a perfect score on your real exams, I bet you probably made a handful of miscalculations prior. I mean, what else are like mock exams for? Now, let me show you something. This is an eraser. Standard black exam grade eraser from the bookstore. Nothing too fancy or anything, it's just simple. Now, why do you think this eraser exists? I'm pretty sure most of you would have answered in your heads already. And yes, you are correct. But how do I know? Because that's the sole purpose of this tiny little invention. Even the sharpest of pencils, no matter how perfect and sharp they are, they always have erasers on top of them. Why? Because if we do make mistakes, the erasers help us change the situation around for us and correct it. Javad Alizadeh once said that erasers remind us that there is no faultless human. If there is something that creating errors teaches us, 
is the fact that we can rewrite and reword our situations. It's like being given a second chance in life, no matter how small it is. You missed an opportunity, try again next time. You failed an exam, try again in the next one. Woke up late for an appointment, try waking up early next time. The word, the one consistent word that you keep hearing from me again and again is try. This one syllable, three letter word, which even a toddler could say, can impact someone's way of thinking, no matter how far the drain they're going. Everyone has a point where they want to give up, where they don't want to wake up anymore, they just want to sit around. But that's where the issue starts. That's, that's where the issue arises. The sheer willpower of trying again and again, no matter how many times one falls, the sheer peer perseverance of a person is enough to determine a change of outcome for those who actually want to change their own life. Sadly, in this generation, children are still taught that trying and failing is considered useless. Parents tend to instill this toxic mindset saying achievement is everything. And while that may be the case for some, their expectation of achieving without having a single fat fail in the world tends to be a normal case right now. This, of course, may be due to certain reasons. I mentioned this earlier, wanting to fit in society standards, being afraid of social, uh, wanting to be of social inclusion and so on. And when a parent does have a child that ticks all the boxes, they nurture them to have this superiority complex. And of course, this applies to the parents as well. What parents of this category don't understand is how detrimental it could be to a child. The fear of failure, as they might say, that worry that constantly arises when a child receives an average grade um, rather than a perfect one, or even worse, a failing grade. Oh my, what would my mother say? Would my mom and dad even love me after this? Well, that's embarrassing. These are the internal monologues of students, regardless of age, gender, beliefs, experience, and just from the fear of failure. What children should be taught instead is that it's completely okay to be making these mistakes in life. It's not the end of the world. Sure, the road may be longer than most, but that isn't an excuse to potentially accept your defeat. No child should be taught to be perfect. There is no such thing as a pure perfect human being, no matter how much the internet tries to portray that. And we know how much the internet tries to portray perfect things and so on. But in reality, it's not really true. It's not really real. When the youth starts to understand that learning from trial and error could actually shape them into someone better along with the society as a whole, and that's how you form a limited, limitless society, a generation with endless abilities to change the future through progression. Learning and understanding these fundamentals, experimenting, failure after failure, that is what gets someone to the other side. The fear of trying something new because of the fear of failing something, that particular thing, could also prevent youth from being advanced. And I was that kid. The kid who was trying, who was afraid of trying something new because I felt maybe I wasn't so good at it. So why do I have to bother anyway? But I had to, rem I had to remind myself for humanity, humanity to progress. It's all about trial and error, trying out things one by one, stumbling upon random interests. It doesn't really matter which one. And this year, that was that change for me. Personally, I had progressed so much. I became more involved academically. And as someone who wanted their voice heard, I strive to make an impact, no matter how small it may be. If it meant me taking a step forward to actually making myself feel accomplished and happy, even if I might stumble every now and then, give myself a hard time, maybe. But what's the harm in giving a shot? I put myself out there. This year, I decided to try to join the Modeling United Nations, a simulation conference to discuss about world issues and how to tackle them. And of course, it was very nerve wracking at first. It was my first time. I did not know the format. It was just really mind boggling. But to be honest, even I, even I didn't know the simplest terms and as compared to the veterans, of course. But the, despite that, humbly, conference after conference that I have attended, I had gotten to win so many awards that I never thought of. Uh, some of the awards that I've been given throughout my conference of joining MUN are the best delegate, which I've been awarded for three consecutive times, and as well as the best position paper. 
And I still continue to attend those conferences till this day. I was so glad that I told myself to actually go out and try something regardless of the feel of a failure, because how else would I even progress in my life? If I want humanity to progress, then I will have to try to take the first step. And that is when the people around me could actually bring forth with me. Not only did I vision, uh, did my vision become brighter, but it was clear to me. The people around me to never fail to give a shot at something. And trial, and trial and error is normal. It's every industry, whether it's business or banking or architecture innovation, there are trial and error from every part growing up, every angle, there's always trial and error. Those errors defined you as a person from how you learn from them and from how you interpret it from them. Mahatma Gandhi once said that freedom is not worth having if it does not include the freedom to make mistakes. Well, then again, if you don't make mistakes, how else could you possibly learn? That is all from me. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk.